Yo, what is going on YouTube? So, I'm back again with another Nerf review. Well, it's not Nerf today, it's gel, but it's by Zuru X-Shot. If you guys haven't remembered the uh, X-Shot gel uh, HPG 700 from that review that I reviewed a month ago, go check it out. But today is another gel blaster from X-Shot. It is the X-Shot gel trace fire. So this one's a little unique. The HPG was a magazine fed 800 round, but this, has a 600 round hopper with an 850 round mag. So if you tilt this mag upside down, this is the actual hopper that feeds into the laser to be able to fire the gel round. So it's pretty unique. So it loads the hopper for you instead of having to take the hopper out and then loading your gel rounds in like the HVG 700, which you have to do manually, which is you know kind of annoying, but they're both rechargeable. So that's pretty good. Comes with 10,000 uh, hyper gel rounds, but Obviously, you probably have like 50,000 to 100,000 gel rounds uh, already ready. So, yeah. Seems like it comes with some protective eyewear. And also look for the HPG 700, which I did review. I actually like that one a lot. And the clutch, which I haven't got yet. So, you guys want me to get the clutch, uh, drop a comment down below. So, yeah. Without further ado, let's get this thing out of its packaging. So, yeah. Magic time. All right. So, what comes inside the package is... The blaster itself, 850 round uh, mag, some uh, safety glasses, which I'm not going to take out because I'm probably never going to use them. The gel bottle, so you can store all your gels in here and put water in and hydrate your gels. The USB cable, the stock, and 10,000 gel rounds. As you can see right here, but I already have hydrated ones, but it does come with some, so uh, I appreciate you, x for that. But uh, let's take a look at the blasters. So first, let me put on the stock. So before I put on the stock, this is the same stock attachment point as on the HVG 700, but it's not like an end strike stock where you can put it on any like Nerf Elite blasters or you know any other Nerf blasters at all. It's only designed for extra gel blasters. So yeah, once you put it on, you kind of like snap it in. And there you go. And then you take it off with that button up there. And overall, the stock length is wow. The ergos on this one is not bad, actually. And uh, the barrel is not removable, uh, you know, so it's not the same as the HPG 700. So, yeah, let's uh, show you guys the mag real quick. So to load it, you just open up this hard door, which uh, even needs like a little pointy tool to even open, just like that. And once you open it, you dump in your uh, gel rounds right there, which I think is pretty cool. And once you're done, you click it back in. And then you load it in to the blaster. And it should look like this. A lot uh, more smaller than the HPG 700, which I'm quite surprised. And it has a less uh, hopper capacity. So, yeah. And But the unique thing about the HPG 700 is when you tilt the blaster over, this little door opens on the inside. And it actually loads the hopper from the inside, too, which is very cool. So... You put uh, gel rounds in here, and when you're out, you can just tilt it over, and it really loads the hopper for you, which is very cool, very unique. So, yeah. And also, the hopper here slides open, so you can, you know, dump in it manually if you, you know, so prefer. And that door will open right there to load your gel rounds. So, the door slides open very similar to, like, a Nemesis, a Percy's. Well, not a Percy. The Percy's flips open. Very similar to the uh, Nemesis and the Prometheus loading door, but it's just a lot smaller because it's gel rounds, not rival rounds. So, that is to be expected. But it has a 600-round hopper capacity. So, and it does have some tactical rails. One built up here with the, um, the X-Shot uh, hopper up here and the power adjustment. So, you can adjust your power which is kind of hard to do. So you probably need something uh, really sharp to get that thing uh, go straight up. So, you know, you have more performance. So yeah, it does have two tactical rails on the side and that's pretty much it. And to take out the battery is right on this uh, comfortable uh, foregrip or forehand where you hold the blaster, of course. So that's really what I do like. And to take it out, I think you just push this in and slide it under. And the battery that is included with the blaster if I can even get this thing out of here. Because it's a little bit difficult. It's not the same as the, uh, the HPG 700 where it gets out easily. So the battery that comes with its uh, rechargeable uh, lithium-ion battery. 800 milliamps an hour, 7.4 volts. 
and uh, that's pretty cool. And you plug it into here, and then once it's dead, you just use the charger. The charger, of course. Let me plug it in real, real quick. Uh, there you go. Make sure we have a charge. I don't want to dry fire this thing too much. All right, that's good. Don't want to dry fire too much because uh, you guys know what happened when you dry fire these things. They do not sound good at all. And putting the battery in even seems more difficult, actually. So it's a lot more smaller of a door. So it's a little bit more harder to get in. So you just got to wheeze it in there, actually. There you go. You got to push that thing in. Then just squeeze your battery in there. So this goes in first, actually. I think your battery goes in afterwards, just like this. Or how does this thing go here? I'm very confused. Because... What the... Okay, this one's a little tricky, guys. It's a little tricky. There you go. Once you get it in like that, which I'm not supposed to so push it in. And then you store your battery just like that. And then you push this little thing up until it clicks. Boom, just like that. And you should be ready to go. So pretty simple. Mac release is in the inside of the trigger guard, so... Very cool, very comfortable. Ooh, that mag release is, uh, it may be smoother than the, uh, the HPG 700, actually. Yeah. What the? Did it broke right out of the box, chat? Oh, never mind. <laughs> I'm tripping, guys, I'm tripping. I'm a little new to this guy, which I am, so. And the magazine release goes downward, so that's pretty cool. And the skins on this thing is absolutely awesome. Oh, crap. And uh, the the grip is very comfortable, you know. Pretty standard, pretty much the same thing as the HPG 700. Safety is only on one side, not on the other side. Y X shot, I don't know idea because I don't know, you guys are right-handed, that may be a little problem. But you're left-handed, you know what I'm saying? You should be fine. Trigger pull is very smooth. It's on safety right now, so it can't do anything. So yeah, without further ado, I'm gonna load up some hydrated gel rounds and uh, let's go outside and see how this thing performs. So yeah, let's get to the AKA firing test. All right, so now we're at the firing test of the uh, Hyper Gel Trace Fire. So I loaded up the hopper to here and I loaded it into the blaster and let's take it out safety. And let's try out single first, so yeah. Oh, wow. Oh my goodness. Eh, I'm bored, full auto. You know, battery ain't no fully charged, but it's all right. Still works like a beast, though. But yeah, let's try full auto. All right, so it's not fully charged, but no problem. It performs all right. All right. So as you guys can see, that was the firing test of the X shot trace fire. It wasn't fully charged, so it didn't fire, you know, as powerful. But as you guys know, if you lift this thing up, it will get 200 FPS, which is pretty dang cool. So but I will have to get something to push that thing up. So yeah, it is not easy. Do it with bare hands, yeah, you can't do it, so yeah. But the stock is removable. It's just, yeah, kind of hard to take out, but easy to put on. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? There you go. But the unique thing is I didn't know because I thought, oh, this, this door can just be left open and then it'll load it in. And uh, I just spilled gel rounds all over the place, but you know what I'm saying? It is how it is, so it's all good. So yeah, overall the trace fire performs pretty well. And you guys don't know what gel rounds is. They just spilled all over me. But here it is. These are the little tiny clear rounds that uh, you know, pretty squishy actually. Holy moly. They are actually way more squishy than I expected it. Hey, but at least it gives me a chance to load it back in the blaster. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know, let's put them back in here. You know what I mean? You you need no you you need no bottle. What are you talking about? 
and I need to go pick up some more on the ground. But yeah, overall, you know, it performs pretty well. And I, I had a lot of fun reviewing this thing, but it wasn't fully charged. So I know, I know, but you know what I mean? It's a lot of fun. I mean, it's a gel blast, what you expect. Summer's coming up, you know what I mean? So probably gonna go outside, you know, probably shoot at my neighbors, you know, probably shoot at their dog. No, I'm just playing, but <laughs> don't do that. Do not do that, okay? Don't don't go around shooting at your neighbor's dog. You will go to jail. Well, you won't go to jail because it's a goddamn jail blaster, but uh, do not do it, please. So yeah, overall, that's all about my review of the uh, eight, I mean, I almost say HPG 700 again. I'm confusing them. I'm confusing them even though they look different. You know what I mean? I'm still confusing them. The uh, Trace Fire. So, yeah, overall, that's all about my review. I mean, it's smaller than the HPG 700, which actually surprises me because I thought it was going to be a whole lot bigger. You know what I'm talking about. So, yeah, overall, that's all about this review. I hope you guys enjoy. And, you know, I had a lot of fun. So, yeah. Without further ado, I will leave the link in the description down below if you guys want to purchase Blaster for yourself, of course. So, yeah, that's all about this review, and uh, there's nothing else much for me to say. And, uh, yeah, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time or tomorrow if the Nexus 4X, you know, release, which I'm really excited for that one, so stay tuned for that review. So, yeah, without further ado, I'm going to see you guys next time. Peace.